Now that you've found UBN Radio and discovered our quality talk shows, it's time to spread the word to friends, family, and the universe. 24 hours of music and talk. Radio without limits. That's why people keep coming back for more. That's UBNRadio.com. Jump off that exhausting hamster wheel and into balanced living with Dr. Marissa. Promise you joy in the mystery. Dr. Marissa, also known as the Asian Oprah. Her mission, to be a beneficial presence on the planet. Her purpose, to be your personal advocate to live, laugh, love, learn. Her life motto, don't die wondering. Take back your life with Dr. Marissa Penn. And welcome. Happy, happy week. My name is Dr. Marissa, and you are tuned in to Take My Advice. I'm not using it. Get balanced with Dr. Marissa every Tuesday at naturally high noon here out of the Sunset Gower Studios, Universal Broadcasting Network, and then every Thursday and Saturday on my syndicated CNBC News Radio channel, KCAA, AM 1050, FM 106.5, and now on iHeartRadio. So you get splattered everywhere you tune in with hope and happiness because there's no gossip, no scandal, and no K-words here on this show. No Kardashian talk at all. Instead, I want you to focus on your own reality life and not those of people who really don't matter and uh, how you can be happy 88% of the time. And if you've missed any of my past fabulous shows, thank to uh, a lot of past Oprah guests. Um, I see Dr. John Gray, Dr. Michael Bernard Beckwith, uh, Marianne Williamson, Marianne from Gilligan's Island, Don Miguel Ruiz, uh, Tony Tennille from The Captain and Tennille, and many more that are too numerous to, to uh, say right now. Please go to YouTube. You'll get a lot of them. You can go to iTunes, Stitcher, and on a lot of different places. And because it's about show uh, hope and happiness, the show is, I also have fabulous guests who take their gift and do much more than with their gift. So if you remember, I had Fran Drescher on. She was not on because she was on The Nanny, but she was on because of her TrashCancer.com, educating people about how to uh, avoid cancer. And uh, I, uh, one of the blessings of having this show, too, is, is making some really good friends from my guests. And that's today is no exception. We're blessed again to have internationally acclaimed and celebrated pianist, composer, and humanitarian Keiko Matsui here in the studio for the second time. Yes, yeah, she has a new album to mark her 30th anniversary of recording de- debut with her new album, Journey of the Heart. Keiko took her first... First piano lesson at five, and she made her U.S. recording debut in 1987 with a recording of A Drop of Water. Keiko has worked alongside everyone from Miles Davis to Stevie Wonder, and her CD, Deep Blue 2001, top Billboard's contemporary jazz charts for three consecutive weeks. She is the first Japanese artist to achieve this honor. I think NPR sums her up in their statement, Keiko Matsui is appreciated not just as an artist, but as a human. Humanitarian. She dedicates every song she writes to causes that move her. On a personal note, if you missed her first interview with me, we found out we're actually sisters from different countries who used to be at war, Chinese and Japanese, but joined by many similar experiences. So we're representing peace between China and Japan as well. Please welcome to the studio Keiko Matsui. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, so happy to be back here. So happy to have you back here too. And wow, 30 years, you yes. must use oil of Olay <laughs> as I do. Yes. Well, yeah, amazing. And, yes. Mm-hmm. And today, mm-hmm. you're number one. Uh-huh. We just found out today. Right. <laughs> on uh, the groove, groove chart. The groove chart. And also this new album debuted number one again on Billboard Contemporary Jazz Chart. So thank you so much, wow. everyone. <laughs> wow. Billboard Contemporary Charts number one as well. I didn't know about mm-hmm. that one. Yeah. That is debut. <laughs> debut. That's mm-hmm. so wonderful. Thank you. And you, I, you actually, I asked you to bring a couple songs from your mm-hmm. new album. So my listeners okay. are the first ones really to, uh, mm-hmm. I don't think you've done too many interviews about your new, uh, new no, album. Oh, no, not yet. Am I, am I like the first one? 
Um, or close to the first close one. To, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. So mm-hmm. we're going to, without further ado, uh, mm-hmm. listen to Moving On, which is the one that got number one. Yes. And and if the listeners should be listening for what? Let, give me a little bit. We'll talk more about uh, just, what uh, it came. I hope uh, everyone can uh, have a journey with the music. And uh, wherever you would like to go, please find you. Mm-hmm. All right. So Your if way. you're listening and not driving, mm-hmm. please do take a deep breath in and gently close your eyes and listen to the music from the heart. Keiko Matsui. <laughs>
if you've just tuned in and you're wondering if I've turned into a music station, I <laughs> kind of have because uh, my my new twin sister, Keiko Matsui, just released her 30th year anniversary album, Journey to the Heart. And that was Moving On, mm -hmm. which just made number one on the Groovin' Charts. Yes. And um, it's so cute. If you had, if I had a way to do a live camera as the music was playing, <laughs> she was playing the yeah. table. Yeah, I can't <laughs> stub my fingers. <laughs> which is beautiful. And that was called Moving On. Uh, yes. So what inspired you mm -hmm. uh, to... Well, I mean, you've recorded how many albums? This is, uh, I think, a 27th album in the U.S. 27th <laughs> album yes. in the U.S. That mm -hmm. is pretty impressive. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and I understand for this particular album, you uh -huh. wanted to mark 30 years. So mm -hmm. it's an anniversary album. Right. So tell me the kind of the process that you uh -huh. went through and then particularly this song. Uh-huh. Yes, um, for uh, when I started uh, thinking about the recording, I felt, okay, I'd like to try with an acoustic project. Mm -hmm. And, um, and uh, since I have done Japan tour with an acoustic group, uh, which is um, the drummer uh, Jimmy Branley from yes. Cuba and uh, Carlitos del Puerto from Cuba. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was thinking about uh, making an album with them. And beginning of this year... I went to my favorite island, closest island, Catalina Island uh -huh. in California. Uh -huh. And I stayed there uh, about a week and I started composing. Okay. And uh, so this album, I was recording my, my life and uh, wow, about 30 years I have been sharing mm. everything with my fan. Mm -hmm. And because of fan was uh, there mm -hmm. and waiting for my album and my concert, I could come this far. That's yeah. why I didn't stop. Mm -hmm. So this uh, album carries lots of my sincerest uh, uh, gratitude. So, um, well, Speaking of fans, mm -hmm. this just came on my Facebook. Um, mm -hmm. Carol Adams said she is awesome. <laughs> Saw her in Catalina at the Jazz Festival quite a few years ago. Oh. Eric David says, Eric Davis says, great musician, love her sound. Uh, Ray Martin, I love Keiko, one of the most awesome pianists and composers I've ever watched live. <laughs> Congrats, you. Doc, on getting her. Thank you, Ray Martin. Uh, Radha Christie, she has a very unique sound. I've been to mm -hmm. several of her performances, including Catalina Jazz Festivals. Mm -hmm. She plays piano, keyboards beautifully. Um, and uh, let's see. How, oh, and, and we actually have a question okay. from a listener. How old is her daughter now, and what is she up to? Do they play keyboards <laughs> together? Okay. Good question, Rada. Yeah. They started piano when they were five, but they found the interest. Uh, the older one is uh, uh, now working and dancing and choreographing and teaching mm. and uh, on the dance studio. And the little one uh, is uh, into musical, but still she's starting her quest. Wonderful. And mm -hmm. how old are your daughters? Little one is already 20. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah, that was one of the things that we found out we had in common. We have two daughters. Right. Yours are a little bit older than mine. Mm. Mine's 19, gonna, 19 and 17. Yours are 20 mm -hmm. and 20. Three? So, yes, 20, seven. 27. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You do use oil of a light. <laughs> well, there's your answer, Radha. Yes. So tell me about, because I know that there's a message behind each one of the songs that you do. Mm -hmm. So for moving on, was it personal? Because uh, I know we're both also happily divorced. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you for mentioning that. Yes, thank you very much. Yes. Well, actually, I have kept uh, been moving on so last 10 years or so, mm -hmm. and just this melody sticking in my head when I started composing. Mm -hmm. And wow, this is so simple, too simple maybe, but I was trying to compose more songs, but yeah. this one said, here, me, 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 me. Right. So, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So I recorded <laughs> and it was so uh, like, like happy. everybody, yeah, happy, positive. Yeah, 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 yeah. And everybody started moving their body yeah. while recording or listening to. So, okay, this yeah. is it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, since we're talking about uh, happily divorced, and I, I think we're both single now, right? Yes. Okay. So right. <laughs> so I know that you keep saying, no, 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 I don't want, but this is like an insider look here uh, for, for this. If you were mm. to date, what 
what are you what are you attracted to? Just just curious. Like we're like we're having a, you know, wouldn't it be nice, you know, what kind of man would you be attracted to? Because I asked the same thing to Fran Drescher. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. And she said five S's. Hers were straight <laughs> because her whatever her husband came out of the closet. Okay. So straight, sexy, smart, single, <laughs> right? And successful. So those wow. are the five S's. So you don't have to do letters, but okay. what 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 when what what are what attracts you in a guy? Well, um, stable. <laughs> okay, so he has a, a professional for everything. Yep, and you don't um, have to pay for him. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going there. <laughs> Honest. <laughs> Honest. And um, humble and gentle, mm. maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and. It, Please don't jealous. <laughs> don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. That's very, very important. Because I travel a lot. Yeah. 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 I tour with guys all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I'm not partying every night. <laughs> Well, I don't do party. But we are going to party. Oh, we're in Catalina. With the sister. Yes, yes sister sisters can party. Fine. So if you want to come party, I'm going to do a little plug. It is the promo later. Mm -hmm. But uh, you're going to be performing at Catalina Jazz Fest again. Uh -huh. Art Good loves you. And mm -hmm. that's why He's you keep friend. coming back. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I just met there. him for the first time. Oh, really? Well, over email. I'm mm -hmm. going to meet him in person. Mm -hmm. But uh, so if you uh, don't have tickets yet, Go to jazztracks.com. Mm -hmm. You are performing on what night? On a, a 21st evening. 21st evening, mm -hmm. which is Friday. Right. And uh, then after you is actually another set of my friends, DW3. Hey, uh -huh. peace in, peace out <laughs> right. to my DW3 guys. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be there too. Right. So what are some, some what's the best parts of mm -hmm. being a touring recording artist, musician? Mm -hmm. The best parts and what are the the most challenging parts? Well, best parts is uh, I just uh, realized through my experience that um, this is my mission. Mm. So catching the melody and delivering as an album and dedicating concert and to make more peaceful air on this earth, mm -hmm. that's my mission. And uh, when I started, I was not thinking about pr becoming a professional musician. So I didn't think about all these things. But right. from my experience, I noticed that, okay, this is my mission. Mm. So, of course, I'm making a living with this. Yes. But it's not like just jo job. Mm -hmm. And also, I'm receiving everybody's uh, smile and uh, great um, pure energy. Mm -hmm. And my fan just to say... I'm so happy to see you happy. Right. And just, I'm so grateful about that. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So what's the hardest part of doing what you do? Hardest part is just uh, like a, like a, a athlete. Like you need to keep energy and mm -hmm. good health. Mm -hmm. And even you don't have time to sleep, but still you just keep yourself with a good spirit right. and good Else. Does it For ever? Show. Mm -hmm. Does it ever feel like a job where I have to do this? I really don't feel like doing this. No, but uh, I can <laughs> honestly, I can say like I'm a uh, little bit getting tired of packing and unpacking. Mm. But I'm becoming faster and faster <laughs> to pack, so I think it's okay. <laughs> right, right. And and your daughters, uh -huh. so. We're similar in the way that, you know, mm -hmm. their moms are full-time, working, mm -hmm. dedicated, love their work, yeah. travel, all that. Do they see you as, you know, Keiko Matsui? Or do they see you as, oh, well, that's just mom? Mom, but, uh, <laughs> mom, but uh, at the same time, they are really uh, supportive because they understand why I'm traveling this much. Mm -hmm. And they're happy to hear good news about me and uh, just, uh, yeah, they, mm, they're so sweet. <laughs> That's nice. They didn't go through the teenager times? No, no, no maybe no time. And the grandma took care of okay. them so well, <laughs> maybe spoiled them so well, <laughs> but they're sweet. That's yeah. That's mm -hmm. great. That's yeah. great. Um, w would you like to uh, send them some love now on the air? <laughs> Ooh, I'm shy. Japanese doesn't do that I, much, but uh, I know. Love you, Maya Mako. 
and my mom. Thank you. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful. It is true. You know, when you say Japanese don't do that, mm. Chinese are not supposed to do that. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> we're both exceptions to the rule. Uh -huh. But you're you're normally shy, private, yes. you know, introverted. Mm -hmm. So has that been a challenge for you? Well, um, especially the beginning of my career, and uh, I couldn't speak much English. Right. And that time was hard. Mm -hmm. And even just talking about myself is kind of, mm. <laughs> yeah. And, but but when I, I'm with the music, it's different Easier role I have. About. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does your mo is your mom like a little? My mom's always nervous when she sees me on camera or or really? <laughs> with a microphone. Like, what's she gonna say? <laughs> Maybe <laughs> same. She, Mommy same. Is the same. Yeah. Mom. Yeah. yeah. You, there's a saying actually in Chinese: mm -hmm. the nail that stands up is hammered down. Mm -hmm. So, so it's I don't know. Right it's hammered down. down. So you're not supposed to mm -hmm. stand out. You're mm -hmm. not supposed to be all that. Oh, do you have that saying? Do you know if there's? Uh, I've told mm. that there's a version of that. Yeah. Mm, Maybe not. I can't find right away. But Maybe then. not. <laughs> yeah. So, so what are some messages? Like, do you ever, do you ever doubt yourself? Do you ever like, am I really supposed to do this? Is this, you know, really what I'm? You know, this is. Have you always known that this was your gift? Uh, actually, well, maybe I didn't know much about myself mm -hmm. for a long time. And uh, the way mom and uh, my father is very humble. Mm. But uh, when I met uh, really difficult people, <laughs> and still I was feeling like, uh, well... I have obligation and I feel gratitude to them. Right. So that's why I was, I think, blocking myself. Mm -hmm. But after, um, well, after having a hard time, right. I realized that, oh, I have to take care of my soul. And yes. if I'm feeling not good, that means you need to move on to other environment. Right. And right. also my uh, kind of mentor told me that uh, um, like uh, you the environment mm -hmm. you cannot choose change, change. Mm -hmm. you cannot change yeah but you have the freedom to choose correct and you have freedom to move on yes so of course it is a, a hard thing uh, in the family yeah. but the, if the other party mm -hmm. you have to think about yourself first and uh, love your yourself first right, right. and all these simple thing i was not doing enough yeah. <laughs> but now i'm yeah. i you feel I think, like you've yeah. walked into mm -hmm. that there's nothing like a good divorce to bring out you know your <laughs> own self-love i have to say you know it, i don't regret it mm -hmm. because it really it made me have to go down deep mm -hmm. to find the truth of who i was mm -hmm. i wasn't you know, the descriptions of me or mm -hmm. how people saw me mm -hmm. or how people wanted to see me. Mm -hmm. So, and you are beautiful. You're mm. beautiful inside you, and sister. out. And mm. I'm just absolutely <laughs> delighted that we get to... Uh, nice to meet you. Yes, me too. yes, absolutely. <laughs> so, um, on the album, mm -hmm. what what's your, your favorite memory? Oh, first of all, mm -hmm. how do you compose? Do you, when you say, okay, you go to Catalina Islands <laughs> and you started to write, you, know, uh -huh. you carry your keyboard with you or you After sit in a place? Time, uh, do you meditate it, before? <laughs> or how, what's that process like? Uh, this time, fortunately, uh, I was able to reach to the uh, grand piano, acoustic piano in mm -hmm. Catalina Island because of my friend Art. Okay. So, uh, but always I just sit front of the piano mm -hmm. with a pencil and a music seat, a blank music seat, uh -huh. and just wait, 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 wait. And sometimes I start receiving the melodies or some motifs. Mm -hmm. So I collect all these and over 100 Sometimes I record with a small machine, mm -hmm. and uh, I just collect. Yep. And last last minute, like uh, okay, you have to uh, choose ten best mm -hmm. ten out of it. Mm -hmm. So until then, I just keep collecting, 
and I choose and develop for the, the for album. For the motif. Mm -hmm. Where do you think the music comes from? Mm. Well, I totally believe that this for this album, the melody came from different dimension than before. Mm. Ah. Because it's so high energy, so positive. Uh -huh. And even my uh, younger daughter said, what, what's not wrong, but uh, what happened to you, <laughs> mom? Sounding so happy. Okay. Yes, Beautiful. I am. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh huh. Yeah, well, it's that moving on, mm -hmm. that theme of and finding finding the joy mm -hmm. that's that's within us all. Yes, which is right. why I do this show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. that's beautiful. Thank do you. you ever have a critical voice in your head that says um, you're not all that, or people think you're much better than you are, or who do you think you are? Mm -hmm. Like a critical voice. In myself? In your head. Oh. Hmm. Well, just uh, I want to, because uh, I had uh, so many things to take care of, mm -hmm. but just uh, I'm telling myself is like, uh, okay, I have to be with music and uh, spend more time with mm -hmm. for music. Mm -hmm. So that's my kind of go, uh, aiming for. Yeah. Do you ever talk to yourself and like, you know, try to cheer yourself up? Um, when I feel that, I buy rose. You buy roses. Yes, roses. The smell of rose really works for That's me. That's what a great, like, what a yeah. great tool. Yeah, I what love a great it. tool. And uh, did you hear about that? Rose came from the Venus. No, flower of the Venus. Oh. And we came from Venus. I didn't know that. <laughs> we all came from Venus? Not all. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, the sister, the twin sister thing. I think. How <laughs> great. What color rose? Um, Red. I love the uh, double delight. The double delight. Pink, uh, white, but uh, the edge is pink. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Definitely, but definitely. But I love blue roads too. That's, that's beautiful. Thank and you. it is that time mm -hmm. where I get to take a little bit of a break and okay. thank the sponsors who were kind okay. enough to, uh, to support this show. And so we'll be back with Keiko Matsui, who just won uh, number one on the groove charts with her new album, Journey from the Heart and Moving On, that you just got to listen to, uh, my lucky listeners. So we'll be back in two and two peace in and peace out. the Catalina Island Jazz Tracks Festival, celebrating its 30th annual since 1987. Two consecutive weekends, October 13th through 23rd, with the likes of Boney James, Brian Culbertson, Keiko Matsui, Peter White, and even the average white band. 26 miles across the sea in the historic 1929 Avalon Ballroom. Tickets and links for boats, hotels, and a full artist lineup at jazztracks.com. That's tracks with an X or 866 tracks ticks. Remember the movie The Secret? Well, come to Carnegie Hall, New York, and celebrate the Lifetime Achievement Tribute for Bob Proctor, the father of personal development, November 14th and 15th. Join Dr. Marissa, the Asian Oprah, and the who's who of personal development, including other secret teachers, Dr. Michael Bernard Beckwith, Laura Langemeyer, and more for an event to remember. For tickets, go to www.moderndaymillionaire.com. That's moderndaymillionaire.com. And welcome back. You are tuned in to my weekly talk radio show called Take My Advice. I'm not using it. Get balanced with Dr. Marissa every Tuesday at naturally high noon at UBN, Universal Broadcasting Network, out of the Sunset Gower Studios in Hollywood, California. And then every Thursday and Saturday at my syndicated CNBC News Radio channel, KCAA, AM 1050, FM 106.5, and now all the time on iHeartRadio. And we have in studio today live the 
magnificent, beautiful, spectacular, wonderful, sweet, <laughs> and fun-loving, and um, uh, single. <laughs> My twin Thank sister, <laughs> Keiko Matsui, who just released her 30th anniversary album, Journey to the Heart. And uh, you got to listen to Moving On first. And now mm -hmm. I picked one mm -hmm. that I got to pick because actually, for those of you who were waiting for Kirk Whalum, Mm -hmm. It was unfortunate we oh. had him planned. He was he very excited about coming back mm -hmm. on or coming on for the first time with us. And if you don't know who that is, you should. He's the uh, brilliant saxophonist, twelve time Grammy nominated, mm -hmm. and then his uh, he got a Grammy award. Uh, he's the saxophonist on. I will always love you. Yeah. Yeah, oh. <laughs> my Whitney, ch <laughs> Whitney just channeled through me, oh. but uh, he did that for um, that brilliant song, mm -hmm. and he was going to come on in Skype mm -hmm. because he's worked with you, but yes. unfortunately he had a very very important last minute meeting. Mm -hmm. But uh, peace in and peace out to you, yes. Kirk. Thanks. Thank so you we'll, so we'll try much. to come have you come on again, and I'll be with you for the Christmas tour in mm. oh. December. From middle of November, I think. Great. Actually. Anywhere mm. close by? Um, I'm going to want to go. <laughs> yes, okay. I, I'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We, so. we start from England, London first. Oh, London, wow. then US. Wow. Mm -hmm. How fun is that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. It's great heart. Y yes, yes. Yes. I've heard really great things about him. Mm -hmm. So we're going to listen to another. Mm -hmm. song from the Journey from the Heart album okay. and uh, to the heart sorry not from to the, the heart, heart. <laughs> to the heart album it's called Journey to the Heart yes. take a deep breath and enjoy
Wow. <laughs> Thank you. I just went to another dimension. Ooh. <laughs> That's just, now you know why I love her music so much. I never mm. in a million years thought I would be able to sit across from you and huh? enjoy your music and get to text you back and forth <laughs> Japan and California yes, and go right. play together uh -huh. and and have you here in the studio I am truly a blessed precious oh, child in this universe thank you very much for this the, just the, the amazing clarity I, I the only word that kept coming to me as I was listening is mm -hmm. this is life that uh -huh. was the music of life that's what life is that's what life is supposed to be <laughs> Wow. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Now, what's it like to be in the zone? Like they people call, you know, when zone. when when uh, sports people mm -hmm. do something amazing, you know, the Olympics that we got to watch, uh, mm -hmm. um, when musicians are playing mm -hmm. or in the pocket, I guess yeah. is the other. Uh -huh. What does that feel like? Is there is there a way to describe it? Um, just uh, I don't know. I'm not thinking anything. And just uh, like this song, like started from nothing, like right. uh, like blackout, nothing, mm -hmm. and then just uh, with a passion, emotion, everything came out, mm -hmm. and at the end, go back to the silence. It's just uh, so much, uh, very deep. Yes, uh, spiritually deep, and also physically. Hard and just got so excited and just mm -hmm. everything yeah, every is emotion a, is in there. Yeah, every emotion is and in there. all experience and just love, love too. Love that's, that's great. And from the this uh, collaboration of the great musicians, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. everything put body put heart in, in and soul yeah, into and that soul into the every yeah. notes. Yeah. yeah, that is so great. <laughs> That is so great. Some of you are watching on uh, Facebook streaming right now, either mm -hmm. on Keiko's page or Dr. Marissa. And uh, I, I did have a question come in talking about, um, do you do you ever feel like you sh don't, are you ever going to stop this? Like, does it ever, are you ever going to not do this? Like, do you ever feel like that? Um, not at all. <laughs> but, but when I had a first baby, I mean before yes and uh, before having first baby i was thinking because my mom is uh, just uh, my mom mm -hmm. stay staying all the time at home right so i wanted to become like that a stay at home mom mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the last concert i was doing before the having baby yeah and uh, i didn't tell anyone but i i had big stomach <laughs> uh -huh. and uh, still i was playing hard and uh, after the show the ladies came to me And uh, just told me, don't stop. Mm. And also uh, the uh, kind of uh, older lady came to me and hold my hand and she was in tears. And thank you very much for beautiful thing. Mm. So that inspires me like, oh my gosh, they saw my, they read my mind. Yeah. And, but still that time I was thinking, well, I'm not sure I might stay in mm -hmm. Japan, mm -hmm. and the last concert or yeah. something. And yeah. just, I want to be there for kids all right. the time. Right. And then, then of course, I got the uh, offer for the performing at the Greek theater right after, three months, four months after the uh, baby born. Uh -huh. So I came back to perform. And for second baby time, um, without me doing so many concerts, mm -hmm. but the album sales increased yeah so that made me to go back more right, right <laughs> so i right, think right. those uh, those experience was really good right. and uh i now i i feel thank you to the ladies because Absolutely. they told me and to make me realize yeah mm -hmm. yeah it is one of those um bs i call them belief systems mm -hmm. that don't do us well the feeling that we have to sacrifice mm -hmm. for our children mm -hmm. in order oh, right, it, right? Mm -hmm. so they'll they'll be happy but when we sacrifice whether it's staying in a bad marriage mm -hmm. or you know uh, not working uh whatever it is mm -hmm. the sacrifice is worse 
I think, for and children. The, yeah, for and them, feel the it. pain too. They feel, they feel, it. feel us. Yeah, they feel mom, yeah. and they feel sad for mom. Right, that's not good for them. Right. Yeah, right, I right. really believe so. Yeah. So you are a great in- inspiration mm. for doing, you know, what you know you should be doing, mm-hmm. and uh, the joy that that brings, mm-hmm. and uh, balancing. Right. Balance. I don't know if it balances. Balance that's why is my very website is balanced. Yeah, right. for balance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But feeling, you know, I asked you if the, you had that critical voice. I mm-hmm. sometimes, you know, well, mm-hmm. you know, like today, mm-hmm. I, I won't get to my daughter's tennis tournament until mm-hmm. after it starts and mm-hmm. because of the show. Mm-hmm. But, but it's like, you know, so I'm the only one that feels bad. I mm-hmm. have to be the one that says, just don't. You know, you're doing the best that you can with the time that you have and the resources you have, mm-hmm. and that's enough. Right. <laughs> and and it, it oh. is enough. Yes. So I'm going to ask oh. you, put you on the spot. Go ahead. I think uh, that kind of thing I h- happen many times, especially for daughter. Yeah. Because uh, daughter, for me, is first priority. Yeah. And uh, it's so hard to compare with anything else. Right. So right, that's right. why sometimes we need to think about that. Yeah. Yeah. So So, so say that in Japanese for me. So I want to hear. I want to hear. So I am enough. Mm-hmm. How do you say I am enough? Watashi wa juubun ganbatteiru. I'm enough to dedicate, right? Yes. Yeah. And um, I have done the best that I can. Watashi ga dekiru best wa tsukushiteiru. With the time that I have. Kono kagiraeta jikan no naka de. With the resources I have. Um, motteiru jibun no. I am enough. I love myself. And I'm a precious child of the universe. I I think that sounds really beautiful. (laughs) I think it sounds more beautiful than me saying it in English, but uh, that's that's gorgeous. See, you you even get to learn some Japanese on this show. (laughs) You just never know. So how do we find your album? Oh, uh, please go to Amazon. Amazon. And iTunes. Mm -hmm. And uh, please come to see my show and uh, I'll be selling and autograph your CD. Yes. yes. So the the Catalina, mm-hmm. you, we've got two Asian Oprah ticket giveaways. <laughs> right. So the first two people to go on my Dr. Marissa fan page and give me a like <laughs> and give Keiko and her fan page a like mm-hmm. uh, will receive the two free tickets to the Catalina Jazz Track uh, October 21st Friday uh-huh. night for Keiko Matsui's show. So that those are going to be invaluable tickets. You'll get to see and party with me there with Keiko there. <laughs> so uh, just uh, those are the directions. Go on my Dr. Marissa fan page and give me a finger I mean, give me a like, <laughs> and then I'll contact you and we'll message for uh, how to get those tickets, all right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Fabulous. Keiko, it's mm-hmm. been a delight as usual. Thank you any, so much. Any last words or anything to say? Well, uh, thank you, Dr. Marissa, mm. and um, I hope we will meet again and again, and yes. I hope my music reach to my uh, friends and uh, hope to get together at the concert. Thank Fabulous. you so much for your support. Absolutely. Keiko Arigato. Matsui. Arigato. 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 <laughs> That's one thing I do know how to say. <laughs> Wow, that was absolutely fabulous. And if you've just tuned in because you didn't realize of the time, you can, uh, again, see this live streaming on KCAA AM AM and FM. So if you go on my Facebook page, you'll find out details. That's Thursday at 7 and Saturday at 1 Pacific Standard Time. You'll get to hear the entire show again and then after that on YouTube. So you won't miss out on on just a beautiful second interview with Keiko Matsui. And it's that time of the show at the end, the balance bar. 
where I invite you to step up and balance with me. Uh, this Friday, I'll be emceeing two events, the Asian Woman Entrepreneurs Awards Luncheon. Yes, I have to give back since they gave me the 2014 Lotus Award for Business Woman of the Year. And then that evening, emceeing the 23rd Annual National Asian Entrepreneur of the Year Award and Fortune 500 Best Companies, uh, where I was also honored with the 2012 Asian Entrepreneur of the Year Award. And between those two, uh, if you were touched by the love of one of my beloved teachers, Reverend Dr. Alyssa Sprinkles, her celebration of life service is at 4 p.m. at the Agape International Spiritual Center, and I'll be singing there with the choir. So lots of places for balance. A bonus Asian Oprah giveaway today are two tickets to the California Women's Conference December 7th and 8th at the Long Beach Convention Center, put on the map by Maria Shriver, and now my friend and co-author, Michelle Patterson, has taken over for the past four years. I was honored to be on the advisory board. The tickets are valued at $300 a piece, and we want you to put it on the map, so December 7th and 8th. So the first two to contact me at my website, the number 4, balance.org, and put down Women's Conference, will get those tickets. We're just giving everything away. No car yet, but we're working on it. And then balance tip for day 20 on the 21 day fast from complaining with Dr. Marissa, my favorite relationship teacher, Don Miguel Ruiz, the author of the four agreements says, if you don't want a dog, buy a cat, which is part two of yesterday's tip. Don't go to the tractor for milk. An awful lot of complaining comes from unmet expectations of people especially when they are your insignificant other. For example, if you want a mate that smells nice, likes to travel, and has free time, don't pick a smoking, homebody, workaholic. And I'm very proud to say that Don Miguel has actually been on my show twice. And you can find his show on YouTube. Just put in Dr. Marissa and Don Miguel. Round 63 of the 21 Day Fast from Complaining with Dr. Marissa starts October 1st. So sign up to win a free pack of my motivational cards if you don't complain for 21 days in a row. And uh, to help you, last year we came out with the app. So please go to the app store and just put in Dr. Marissa and you'll find it. And I will be missing all of you. I'm leaving this Sunday to teach and to sing with the Agape International Choir in Peru. I'm calling us the PALS, which is Peru Agape Light uh, in uh, uh, Singers. <laughs> it will be performing at the International Choir Competition Festival uh, at the largest cathedral in um, Cusco. So that'll be a, a great. I'll be, have some pictures when I come back for the live show in October. Also, I will be in uh, New York City. Uh, you heard the promo. If you want to join me uh, to celebrate Bob Proctor, who is uh, before even Anthony Robbins, a great man who has been vested in our personal growth and development. That's November 14th and 15th. Go to Modern Millionaire. Uh, moderndaymillionaire.com uh, and get tickets there. Also, uh, it next week, I'm leaving you in good hands, though, for the next two weeks. Next week, it's Marvin Gaye time, sexual healing with Dr. Marissa, the new Asian Dr. Ruth, and my guest is fellow UBN host of Friend and Foe, Devlin Wilder, and we're talking about dating, bisexuality, and polyamory, which I thought he meant Pollyanna. <laughs> so you won't want to miss the expression on my face when I found that out. And then the amazing mass motivator, Lisa Nichols, the first week of October. So keep it tuned to take my advice. I'm not using it. Get balanced with Dr. Marissa Pay. That's P for positive EI. And remember, it's all about balance. Peace in and peace out. Heart in a cage. It was a book 
don't turn a page I couldn't see past my rage I wanted to dance but I pushed you away now I'm on my knees I'll listen to what you said and you said be my partner dance with me just hold on I will lead don't be afraid if you can't see I promise you joy in the mystery I wanted to believe in 